I received a comment on one of my uh, Kubota videos where I was re uh, installing the uh, three-point hitch back on the tractor and one of my viewers uh, was having an issue trying to get their three-point hitch off they couldn't figure out how to get that last bar uh, out so I'm going to make this video showing how to remove and install a three-point hitch on a Kubota BX24 and it should be very similar on many Kubota models now I'll start with the, I have the implement removed already so it's just a three point hitch that I'll be dealing with. Top link is very easy. Pull out the retainer, pull out the pin, and it comes right off. Okay, to remove the lifting arms it's much the same arrangement. I noticed there's a spiral, at least on mine, there's a spiral retainer which is a little trickier to remove. But you remove that, take the pin out, and that falls down like that. Set that aside. Same thing on this side. So the hardest part is dealing with the spiral retainer. I don't know why they use that. It's almost like a keychain. You just gotta work it through. And then pull the pin out. And that one drops. Okay, now we gotta take off the lower arms. Try to explain how this all works. This piece here is what keeps everything spread apart. It keeps the right arm and this bushing in here. Let me get the light over here. This bushing keeps the to the right and it keeps the left side to the left so everything stays together. So to get this off, we'll pull this pin out. And then this pin comes through from the back. Here. Fell on the ground. All it does is hold it to the center shaft. So now I can lift it up and take it off. You can see it's, it's a U-shaped piece and that pin just holds it on there. Okay. Now we can move in the center pieces a little bit to give us some room. Now we'll pull the bushings in on each side. Now it should come out. Now there's a hole. Let me see if I can show this from the side here. Get the light. The hole right there. Okay, what we're going to do is take the shaft, find the hole, move it to one side, and then we can pull it out. Okay, now I'm going to show you how this works because it's a little bit hard to understand. Okay, that is the hole. You can see it's off center from the larger hole where the bushing goes into. I don't know if you can see that from this angle. But the round hole is to the bottom, so it's not centered. So when you put the bar in, when the bar is centered, it can't go through the hole because it doesn't line up with the hole. It has to be off center to line up with the hole. So the bushing centers it in that hole and keeps it from coming out. You put the bushing in like that. It's centered in the hole. I can't go through the hole. I pull the bushing back. Now it'll drop down. Now it'll fit through the hole. 
So when you put it in, you got to push it through the hole to get it in. Then pull the bushings in, and then it'll center it and keep it from sliding out. Hope that explains it. Okay, so let's put it back together. First thing is we got to pre-assemble this because I have this apart. Normally, if you just take it off and set it aside, you won't need to do this. But it slides through here, and then we'll slide the bushings on each side like that. And now we're ready to go. Okay, so let's take this up here. Find the hole, put it to one side to get the other side in. Then once this is in place, we'll put the bushings in. The bushing centers it in the hole and keeps it from sliding out. And this one will not go. And okay, if it's not, you gotta pull it, make sure that that bar is centered left to right. Otherwise, if it's in one of the holes, that's forcing it to be off center and the bushing won't go in. So now bushings are keeping it keeping this pin from sliding side to side like this one just came out because the bushings fell out so that's this thing's job is to keep that stuff spread apart so that it can't come apart so put that on there got something messed up. Trying to lift it wrong. There we go. It's hung up on the piece. Okay, so that holds everything to apart. So now nothing can come out. The bushing can't come out. This bushing can't come out. The arms can't move. And then this is held in with this pin from the back side. Push it in like that, and then we'll put the retaining clip on like that, and that's all set to go. All right, now we'll lift up the lifting arms, and we'll put it all back together, opposite of the way it came apart. Put that pin in, and we got this fancy keychain type retaining clip here which is a pain in the butt and then we will lift up this side and put this pin through and we'll deal with this keychain type retaining clip which is a pain in the butt Actually, it wasn't that bad that time around. And now, all we got to do, put the top link back on. Put it in between here, put the pin in. And put that through there. And there it is. It's all back together. Alright, hope that helps anybody who's having trouble putting their three-point hitch on or taking it off. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.